Edo First Lady, Her Excellency Betsy Obaseki, is here at a specialist hospital in Benin City to visit Mrs. Tina Okiria, who was allegedly shot by her husband, Jason, because she delayed in preparing his meal, leading to the amputation of her left arm. Her Excellency inquired from Mrs. Okiria's mother if she was aware of the husband's abusive tendencies prior to the incident. Do we know, say, the husband they beat him for house? Before I be this one, I did. Hmm? Mm. You know, say in husband they beat him before now. Hmm. Then what you wanna do? Mommy, mm. what's not good? Sometimes uh, go back, you know, go. My picking go cut the can. Go sit there. Go sit, come back, sit, me sit, come as. You say because of the children. Because of the children, because of the children, many women they suffer. Then go stay, see what you don't do, huh? Eh? Because of children, now be the problem with women. Go there for house, bury your yeah man, wicked bad man. You go say because of children, you go stay until they kill person. The first lady advised other married couples to explore the provisions offered by the State Ministry of Social Development and Gender Issues in cases of abuse, rather than suffering in silence. So you do not stay in a situation where somebody is abusing you. He has no, he did not create you. So he has no right whether it's your husband feeding you and your children or not. He has no such right. So as soon as you see it happening, you go and report. Then they come and stop it to save your life and your children's lives. But women stay, they don't stay. They're afraid. You stay there, you're afraid. And one day something bad happens. Is that what we want? You must pick up. What can he do? You go and report, they come and correct him. If they see that ah, this one cannot change you before he kills this woman, they're not take you away, arrange something. Save your life, your life is more important. What is marriage? Marriage is meant for happiness. If you're not getting it, there's no business, you have no business with it. It's, marriage is not a, 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 a prison sentence. Uh -uh. Why would you stay in there and be taking rubbish? Another man will be abusing you. And you keep quiet. Who burn him? The first lady emphasized that the husband, Mr. Jason, will face the full weight of the law for his actions. This thing that is, has happened, no matter even if you, because we see it a lot, the women will be the ones to come back and be begging for the man. So what we want you to know is that it's such a crime, it is not against her alone, it is against the government. Yes. So even if she begs tomorrow, please don't jail my husband. Government will jail him. Yes. Government will jail him because that is the law. So that others will learn a lesson. And this kind of madness going on in this country and in this state, people will learn that if you try it, you end up in jail. So it will stop. Women will stop suffering this kind of nonsense in the hands of madmen that they call husbands. In a gesture of support, she assured Mrs. Ohiria that she will receive assistance in obtaining a prosthetic arm to alleviate the loss she has suffered. Mr. Jason has been arrested and is currently in police custody. Angela Ehimoto, EBS News.